Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop here. Uh, today we're back with another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today we're going to be working on sprint for our character. So meaning if we walk in any sort of direction, uh, we're able to hold down A and our character will be sprinting. Um, this actually works with um, multiple different camera types, uh, third person or uh, first person. But uh, with this tutorial, we will be making uh, a third person camera. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, what we want to do first is go to our editor. And if you've seen my past videos, I have made a third person camera uh, in some of those videos. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to go to objects, characters, and then get our person out. And then we're going to set a camera to that. So we're going to go to objects, game screen slash camera, and then get our regular camera node on out. Um, so we got both of those out. So we're going to go and connect the camera to our person. And uh, that will give us the basic element of uh, a third person camera. We can actually uh, change this offset distance to uh, 250 and then Z will be um, 4. So if we go in the game right now, there we go. We can see that our camera is in the position, but right now we do not have any inputs. So let's go ahead and add those. Um, this is the actual introduction for the, um, the sprint. So what we're going to want to do first is uh, we're going to be going and using our left stick uh, up and down to be able to move our player. So we're going to go ahead and not connect that but we will leave that over to the side. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get our A button, which will be our sprinting button. And we're gonna go ahead and put that right here. So the first uh, middle uh, node on we, we're gonna want is um, our and statement. So basically what we're gonna be doing is connecting our up, down, and uh, A button to this and statement. So basically what this means is when we use our left stick uh, to go either up or down, we get a negative or a positive number. And for a button, obviously, if we press it, we will get an output. So that means that if we use these at the same time, um, we will get a output from this and statement. Um, and then that's exactly what we, what we want because it will be um, for our sprint. Uh, so we know if we are actually using it for our sprint. Um, and so now we're going to go to uh, middle. And we're going to get our uh, multiplier uh, node on. And we're going to go ahead and take uh, our stick movement and put that right into our calculator. And we're going to go ahead and take our and statement and put that also in the calculator. So now what happens is uh, what we have here is if we go either, let me show you what's happening here. So if we go and move, uh, accordingly with our stick, it will be a positive or a negative number, depending on the movement. And if we do the AND statement and push A at the same time, it will output either a negative or a positive, and it will basically uh, give us the number that we want to either move uh, forward or backwards. So we're going to go ahead and connect that to the forward and backward. And then also, uh, just so when we're not sprinting, we're going to go ahead and connect this as a, as a separate one and connect that also to the forward and backward. That might be a little bit confusing, but I'll kind of uh, move everything so it's more viewable. Um, so there we go. So we basically got our stick node on, our left stick, and it moves into our and, and it also moves into the calculator, and it also moves in to our player. And then our button just moves straight into the AND and goes through the AND statement and also our calculator. So what that does is if we go into the game, uh, we're able to, to walk forward. And if we hold down A, you can now see that we're sprinting. I can show that again if we're just walking. This is, this is considered walking. We can now hold A, and now we're sprinting. But let's go ahead and... Uh, finish our left and right uh, movement. So with the left and right, we're gonna actually do the same exact thing as our up and down stick movement, uh, just because this is a third person camera and uh, no matter which direction, it's gonna have to uh, respond to our sprint button. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take a 
and statement out again. And we are going to connect that up into input one. And then we are going to take our left, left and right stick. So our left stick for left and right. So we're gonna go ahead and scale that down a little bit and we will connect that to the and statement. And then we're gonna do the same thing as the top. We're gonna get our uh, multiplier and we're gonna connect that to the, yeah, to that for the input two. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect our left stick, left, right to there. Just like how we did with the top one. Um, I'll start moving things down so it's more clear. And then our final uh, connection will be uh, our left and right to the actual left and right. So uh, it registers as, you know, not sprinting as well. Um, and then also we're going to have to, not our last one, but we're going to have to connect with our left and right to there. Um, so now if we go in the game, now we have movement for all. Um, so we'll have movement for up, down, left, and right. And this is, of course, not sprinting. So now if we push A while doing all this, now we have a sprinting mechanic. Um, if we stop, you can obviously tell that uh, we stop sprinting. And um, this is third person, uh, but I want to I wanted to take this to another step. Uh, if we wanted to move our camera as well as our character being independent, um, we can go ahead and take our right stick, right stick up and down. Uh, go ahead and connect that to the up and down segment for the camera and then uh, take our right stick and do left and right and then go ahead and connect that to the horizontal uh, part of the camera. So now if we go in the game, now we have a full uh, 360 camera of our character and then also our character can move. Um, and then this is just walking, but if we sprint... Now we can sprint and also move our camera around our character. And he can sprint in all directions. I can actually uh, showcase this a little bit better. Um, if we go into our person and we change their movement speed to let's say 50, um, he gets really slow. So if we see, this is a regular walk for him. And if we hold down A, this is a run. And um, this works obviously for all directions um, you can implement this in all types of different projects and hopefully uh, this tutorial was helpful for anyone uh, then again if you guys have any other uh, tutorial ideas in mind and you know you want me to go ahead and do them uh, go ahead and leave a comment on exactly what you want me to do and yeah uh, hopefully this helped you guys uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good day thank you